This is the main screen that you will see when powering on the remote control. The function area is in the upper left corner. The connection status is displayed in the lower left corner. The status is displayed in the upper right corner. The planning and execution panels are displayed in the lower right corner. This is the task management screen. Executing refers to tasks that have been started but not completed. These tasks can be directly called to complete the remaining part. Fields refers to the planned fields information recorded by the remote control. Here, you can directly call fields for operations. Alternatively, you can upload the fields information to the DJI Agriculture Service by tapping the upload arrow in the upper right corner. This stores and shares the fields information on the cloud. You can also tap the search button to quickly find the desired fields in the database. This is the user information screen, where you can view the information and permissions of the logged in user. For example, the permission here is BOSS, which is the highest permission level. You are advised to enable the automatic flight record upload function to synchronize the detailed operation data to DJI Agriculture in time. This way, you can conveniently manage and play back data. The following are the Agris drone teams. The BOSS account is authorized to create and manage teams. When you switch between different teams, note that fields are bound to different teams. This is the device management screen, where you can check the firmware version of the connected device and upgrade the firmware to enjoy the latest functions. Here you can also activate the RTK mobile station, RTK high precision positioning module, charger and inverter generator. This is the troubleshooting screen, where you can view solutions to various tough problems. You can find answers here when you encounter a problem. If you encounter a particularly difficult problem, you can tap the corresponding flight record on the troubleshooting to upload this flight record. This is the information broadcast screen, where you can find various flight control information and operation knowledge. This is the setup screen. You can use the network diagnostic function here to check whether the remote control is properly connected to the network. Each remote control is equipped with a network card by default when it leaves the factory. In normal cases, all three lines are green. Alternatively, you can also connect your remote control to a Wi-Fi network. This is the Android setup screen, where you can change the input method and language as desired. If you tap Factory Reset, all information on your remote control will be clear. Therefore, make sure that you upload the fields and task information on remote control to the cloud before Factory Reset. On the All Application screen, you can view the app version, images, and videos of the agriculture drone. The lower right corner displays the planning fields and execution fields. To perform a fully autonomous operation, you will need to plan the fields in advance. The detailed planning method will be explained in the fully autonomous operation video. All manual A to B points and fully autonomous operations must be performed on the execution screen. Detailed explanations for each operation mode will be provided later.